the watch. My mum and dad gave me a watch. Not a posh watch. Good enough to tell the time by though. And it went well enough until one day at a camp we were playing. Smugglers and customs over the sand dunes. I was a smuggler and I had to get £20,000 through the customs for us to win the game. £20,000 written on a piece of paper. There were three ways to get past the customs. One, by running so fast the customs couldn't catch you. Two, by going creepy crawly so they couldn't see you. And three, going through the customs with it hidden somewhere. I chose three. I chose to hide it on me somewhere. But where? I know, I said. I'll stuff it in my watch. And I took the back off my watch, folded up the piece of paper with the £20,000 written on it, slipped it into the watch and clipped the back of my watch on. So then I went creepy crawly over the sand dunes. They saw me, they grabbed me and they searched me. They looked in my pockets. They looked in my shoes. They looked in my socks. They looked in my jumper. Down my jumper, down my shirt, in my armpits. They even looked under my watch. But they never thought to look in my watch, did they? So they let me go. And when I got to the other end, where the other smugglers were, I said, Hooray! I got through! And I opened up the back of my watch and there it was. £20,000. I took it out, handed it over and we had won the game. I snapped the back of my watch on, looked at the time and my watch had stopped. It was broken. I'd broken it. That evening, I told my brother all about it and I said, don't tell mum or dad about it or I'll get into trouble. I'll get it mended secretly. So there we were, tea time, and my brother suddenly goes, what's the time, Mick? And I, I, I went all red and, and kind of flustered and I go, um, uh, um, yeah, uh, and I look at my watch and I go, um, yeah, it's, um, it's about six o'clock. No, it's not, says my dad. It's seven o'clock. And he sees me going red. Is your watch going wrong? Uh, no, no, it's OK. Let's have a look. No, no, it's, it's, all, right. it's, it's all right. Let's have a look. Let me have a look at it. It stopped. It's broken. How did it get broken? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? My brother was still laughing all over his face without making a sound. So then I told my dad all about the smugglers and customs and hiding the money in my wallet. He was furious. We gave you the watch so you could tell the time. Not for you to use as part of a secret agent smuggling outfit. Well, don't expect us to buy you presents like that again. I was so angry with my brother for getting me into trouble. Inside, I was bubbling. So as soon as tea was over, I went down to our backyard where there was an old cherry tree and I broke a twig off it and it was all prickly and flaky and covered in a kind of grey slimy muck. So then I took this twig back upstairs into our bedroom and I'll tell you what I did with it. I shoved it into his bed and as I shoved it into his bed I thought this will pay him back, this will pay him back. This will pay him back. He's going to get into bed tonight after I'm asleep and his feet are going to get all prickled up and covered in grey, mucky, slimy stuff. Well, later that evening, I was doing some homework and I had some really hard sums to do. 
I couldn't do them. I was stuck. And my brother, he sees me scribbling out all these numbers. And the page is a mess. So my brother, he says, What's up? Do you want a bit of help with your sums? What could I say to that? First I go, no, no, no. It's all right. But he goes, now come on, I'll lend you a hand. So I say, OK. And he comes over and he helps me. He's sitting there right next to me. My enemy. Showing me how to do my sums. And then he said, now you try. And then I could do them. So there I was, friends with him, grateful. I'm saying, thanks. Thanks for helping me. But in the back of my mind, I know something. The twig was still in the bed. I didn't know what to say. All I could see was the twig sitting in his bed, just where his feet would get it. Even if I went and got it out, there'd still be a heap of dirty prickly bits left in his bed after he showed me how to get all the sums right. So I go, look, um, when you go to bed tonight, there'll be a twig in your bed. So he goes, a twig in my bed? A twig in my bed? How did it get there then? So I say, I put it there. And my mum and dad heard that. So my dad goes, you put a twig in his bed. Did I hear that right? You put a twig in his bed? Might I ask, why did you put a twig in his bed? And I just couldn't say. I just sat there like a lemon. I couldn't say it was to pay him back for telling on me about the watch because they wouldn't think there was anything wrong with him doing that. So I just sat there and then I said, I don't know. What a stupid thing to say. And my dad goes, you don't know why you put a twig in his bed? You don't know why? The boy's going mad. First thing he does is smash up his watch. And the next thing, he's going round stuffing twigs in people's beds. He's going stark staring mad, I tell you. I didn't think I was going mad. And I don't think my brother did. I bet he knew why I put a twig in his bed.